beautiful blessings everyone thank you for joining me and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking to you about one thing that may be blocking your manifestations and that thing is lack First off, there are many different things that can block your manifestations and kind of stop you or make it very challenging for you to align with the reality that you're trying to align with. But today we're going to be focusing on lack because this is a big one. Now, if you are manifesting something or trying to align with something because you feel like you need it, okay, then you are vibrating with lack. You are putting out lack into the universe because you are lacking it. You feel like you need it because you don't currently have it. So that's the frequency that you're putting out into the quantum. Ergo, you will continually draw in people, um, situations, all external stuff that reflect those feelings of lack because your beliefs create your reality. Your frequency, okay, creates the reality that you will experience. It create, you know, it draws every think in it's an energetic match to your frequency the external is and then of course your perceptions how you look at everything but anyway let's get back to lack so you may have a very good reason to be manifesting something you need but if you're still manifesting out of lack, you're still going to attract more lack. So here's an example I'm going to use. And I'm actually going to use a personal example, okay? So you may be manifesting more money, financial abundance, financial freedom, okay? Because you actually do need it. Or maybe you are really lacking it in your life. Maybe you are struggling to pay your bills. Maybe you're having to use uh, like food banks. You know, you're, you're really struggling and you're kind of just surviving. I have been there. I've been there where I have just been surviving, where I have been struggling, where I've been paying all my bills, but it was it was difficult. It was hard. I've had to borrow, you know, a couple of hundred quid from friends and then pay them back. Um, you know, or I've even had to use food bank, um, food banks in the in the past as well, especially after leaving the relationship that um, that I was in. Uh, that well, that was an abusive relationship. I needed a lot of help. Okay, especially like from the local authority. I'm in England. Okay, so that's why I'm using those those terms, for local authority, and we have a lot of support for people that do find themselves in financial difficulty and I have had to use that financial support um, and that support in general before. So I would of course manifest and uh, feel like I needed more money because yeah in my, in my physical reality in that moment I did need more okay but I learned this okay and, it, and it's one thing hearing it but then when you go through it yourself you realize that even if OK, I, I was like, you know, this is what I'm going to manifest. I'm going to feel the feelings of it. I'm going to visualize it. But then if I come back to my normal reality and I'm still like, oh, God, you know, you've kind of got that worry about paying that bill or you, you're thinking constantly, like, because remember your thoughts, OK, is the frequency that you're emitting. So I'm always thinking thoughts like, how am I going to pay that? How am I going to get money coming in? Trying to figure everything out. I'm vibrating with lack. OK, so until I shifted that mindset around money, um, I stayed there. I stayed in survival mode and there's normal ebbs and flows to money. So you may have some months, everyone does, doesn't matter how much they earn or how much money, okay, they have, everybody will have an ebb and flow. So some months, and it may last months, it may last weeks, it may last years for some people where you have more money coming in, okay, than going out. Then you may have a phase where it's like in one hand, out the other, more coming in, etc. And we all go through this ebb and flow throughout our entire life with everything. Everything has a cycle, okay, in a phase. Even your evolution, your growth, your personal growth, your spiritual growth, everything does, okay? It's the normal ebb and, ebbs and flows of life. But until I shifted that mindset, I stayed there. I stayed there surviving. However, I would manifest things that bought me um, financial abundance, okay? when I didn't have any attachment to it. So this, this comes hand in hand with lack. When you feel like you need something, you feel like you're lacking it, and now you have an attachment to it because I really need it, okay? That's the energy you're putting out to the universe. And that's scary, right? The universe is like, that's a lot, <laughs> all right? Um, but then, then you, you've got this attachment to it and you need it. You're, you're not detached, right? And you, and you know that you don't have it right now, so you're not embodying it. And that's another thing with manifestation. You've got to embody it. I've done a, no, a video on this before, about living the life like you already have it being that person right now okay 
So I would sometimes manifest things for my small business. I was like, I want to wake up to two sales. Good night. And I would go to sleep with no expectations, no need. Okay. And no attachment to that. And I would wake up to sales or I would say sometimes manifest. Um, I want to sell this amount of candles this week. And these are the candles I want to sell. Thank you. And I would let it go. Wouldn't even think anything more of it. And it would happen sometimes within hours. <laughs> and that just goes to show if you attach lack need or have any attachment to it. Okay. You, you know, you're not going to get it. You're going to just keep getting more things that make you feel lack, more things that make you feel like you need more money, right? So if I'm feeling like I need more money, I'm going to continually re like um, attract things that make me feel like I need more money, right? But then when I was like, yes, I'd like that, thank you, and had no attachment to it, no need, no like, I need it, I got it straight away, literally, sometimes within hours, <laughs> like literally instantaneous, boom, done, okay? So that is the thing that blocks your manifestations, lack needing it okay an attachment like you may feel like you want a uh, a renewed relationship a loving relationship and if you feel like you need it and you long for it you're not going to attract it anytime soon and you've got to evaluate your internal agreements around love at that point as well but that's a completely different story but let's continue talking about financial abundance i decided about well be four weeks ago now I decided four weeks ago that 2022 is going to be my highest earning, earning year ever, okay? And I decided I was going to earn a certain amount this year, that I'm financially free, independent, abundant. I love money, money loves me, and I claimed it, right? And within three weeks of me claiming that and manifesting the way that I do and using the quantum and energy, etc., how I do and how I've learned to, um, learned to use it from my higher knowledge, higher wisdom, higher knowing, but also um, through, I suppose, my, my evolution. And spiritual growth and uh, the courses etc that I have done that that learning aspect of it in the physical plane I I claimed that I manifested it done into my existence but I had no need for it right I didn't feel like I need this amount of money which I have done in the past last year I wanted to manifest that amount that I was going to earn in a year okay um but I felt like you know that there was more of an attachment to it I let go of that attachment and within three weeks and this wasn't like a small jump <laughs> This wasn't a small jump. This was a huge jump. This was such a huge jump that if I would have said this to you and you were kind of just focusing your masculine energy and using an irrational mind, you would have said to me, well, how, how is that going to happen? And you're how, how? You won't be able to see it, right? But I just trusted. I trusted. I surrendered. I had no attachment to it, no lack, no need. And I let it go. And I knew that it was mine. And I claimed it. And within three weeks, um, I was given the opportunities because I said the opportunities are flowing in. Thank you. And the opportunities came came to me literally and it manifested into my reality that quickly. Three weeks. OK, so that just goes to show you that if you have lack or need towards anything or attachment, you're going to block your manifestations coming into your life. And I know I focused on financial abundance there, but it goes with everything. Like I said, it goes with relationships. It goes with money. It goes with every single thing. When you feel like you need it, you know, right, you are telling yourself you are lacking it. I'm lacking this, so I need it. That's the energy you're putting out to the universe. We live in a mirror reality. So as I said, everything that's going to come to you is just going to mirror that lack, mirror that need. You know, you feel like you need love. So you're always going to attract situations and people that make you feel like you need love. If you feel like you need more money, you're always going to attract situations and people, everything, all in the external that make you feel like you need more money. <laughs> and it will be a case of like, you'll have a good month with work, right? But then you'll suddenly get loads of bills or like fines or something. And you'll be like, oh God, it goes in one hand and out the other. Yeah, because you always think that you need more money. So that's what you'll continue. Something goes wrong with your car, right? It is all to do with you, your frequency, your thoughts, okay? So bring your awareness in with that. And whatever you're manifesting, ensure that there is no need and no lack attached to it. I have now created a quantum manifestation program, which is available on my website. I'm going to pop information and the link to that program below. I'm currently running a early bird offer and it's a sacred energy exchange of 222. So that's over um, 200 pounds um, discount with that early bird offer. And I'm actually going to be launching it in the middle of June. I did plan to launch it on the 1st of June, but all of the souls that have um, claimed this soul investment, because it really is a soul investment, um, have all said that they need to start mid-June. So it's just fallen into alignment. So I think I'm actually going to be uh, launching it on Solstice. Okay, but you have a lifetime access to all of this information. There is so much 
Honestly, there are so much sections about the mind, the subconscious, or the laws of the universe, working in harmony with them, manifestation, alignment, your soul gifts, um, you know, what, your, your energy, everything will be, will be blocking all your manifestations. I'm briefly going over just some of the things that are in there, subconscious reprogramming, removing those limitations, that lack, everything that's in there. If you, if you integrate it all, right, if you implement all of that information into your life, I promise you, you will become a quantum creator. You will become a master manifester and your life will completely shift and you'll take a huge quantum leap okay? I'm not going to shove it all down your throat about what's all in there because I don't need to. If you feel like it aligns with you and you think, wow, yeah, you know, I've been trying to manifest that like Alyssa has, um, myself who struggled financially for about three years, I was on survival mode and I would have some really good months and then some really bad months where I struggled to buy myself food, okay? Um, and then I completely shifted and transformed my reality. It's like a huge quantum jump, not with anyone else's help, just by actually embodying all the knowledge that I learned and removing those financial blocks, those limitations, that lack, okay? reprogramming my subconscious mind and healing and connecting into the quantum further and frequency and energy. I used all of it. Then within three weeks, I've more than tripled my income that I've earned over the last three years. Okay. The yearly annual amount, literally within three weeks because I implemented everything and my life is completely transformed now. So you can do it as well. If you take anything away from this, you can do that as well. Okay. So I'm beaming you an abundance of love, lights and blessings. I'm going to pop the links below with some further information. If it aligns to have a look, please do.